Here we go, it's time to watch some dinosaur intros. Do it or thing, you know it's time. It's time for us to watch and unwind dinosaur intros. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Corey, and I'm back at it again with another video because I'm still loving, so why not? Let's keep making these. Now, for today's episode, we're going to be looking at some old school cartoon dinosaur intros. And we're just going to see just how good or how bad some of them truly are. So without any more further waiting, and without any more hesitating, let's jump into this and watch some dinosaur cartoon intros. And let's just see how bad they might be. So I figured, hey, why not for the first intro, let's check out Denver the Last Dinosaur. A dinosaur that none of us would be forgetting for a long time. Alright, let's watch. Hey, I'm loving that drop down shadow effect. That's looking really fancy. Two, three, oh shit, it's the next day mirror. <laughs> you better watch out. Something smells crappy. He's my and a whole lot more. Well, you love you, Denver. Now, you can tell this one was made back in the 1980s when everything was all groovy and, you know, everybody was hyping it up, wearing radical shades, riding skateboards, and wearing a bunch of tie-dye t-shirts. And, you know, being radical all the way to the max while being a groovy 80s kid. That kid right there really is getting into Denver. I guess he is a lot more than your friend. Man, look at those moves, though. Yo Denver, I really don't need you sticking your face into the screen like that. That's kind of annoying. I really do like that pink guitar. Look at that. It shoots lightning bolts. Man, Mum Ra would be so jealous. Damn, and he's got a pink skateboard. Man, you telling me he can spin on his tail too? <laughs> Denver's a hard ass. Wow, Denver really looks like he's about to eat their faces off. He's like, mmm, <laughs> ah, it looks very tasty. I think I'll try a bite. Yes, Granny, he really is a dinosaur. Hey, this is like my favorite party intro right here. We bring a friend to help us make it do all right. Hey, that picture just came out the wrong way, so I, I gotta deduct some points for that. Hey, and where are these other dinosaurs that, that we see in the intro? They just died from a meteor? They don't want to tell us about it? Maybe that's just uh, part of the mystery you gotta find out for yourself. You gotta actually watch the show to learn. Oh, that's some pretty good marketing. Good job, Denver, the last dinosaur. You played us all. No, Denver, don't wink at me. Next intro we're gonna be looking at is the Dinosaur King intro. All right, well, that's gotta be some of the worst CGI looking dinosaurs I have ever seen in my life. And people wanting to get on Disney for those CGI dinosaurs in that movie made back in 2000 Dinosaur, which came out five years earlier before this shit was even made. The intro goes on about some rapping, which isn't super terrible, because yeah, I've heard worse, believe it or not. And at the time, this was the kind of stuff that a lot of kids were having a lot of fun with and enjoyed. Getting all in that really upbeat, somewhat hip soundtrack, just full of energy. They're right next door. The past is in the present. Time for twisted upside down. These fossils are colossal. Only they were just following on a trend that was being successful. So at the end of the day, why the heck not just follow a popular trend that's gonna make you some cash? Don't give it up, Don't give it up. Yeah, and at the end of the intro, you got the main characters working on some new Fortnite dances. Yeah, good job. All in all, the intro is pretty harmless, and sure, the 2D animation looks pretty nice. So I'll give it uh, some credit for that. Really on and here's the 
here's an intro that will really get you hyped if you're into all things extreme. Back in the late 1990s, it was all about getting everybody into everything that was extreme. Rickless, rappers, and the extreme dinosaurs. Extreme. Just listen to these lyrics. And it just screams 90s. A colossal fossil feud. Tails that snap like thunderclap. Man, these lyrics, just freaking comedy gold. Man, a show about dinosaurs and being extreme. <laughs> what, what, what more can anyone ask for? Tails that snap like thunderclap. Hey, the intro definitely wasn't catchy because of their main two catchphrases. Sorry, and stop! But if you were in the mood for something that had dinosaurs in it and had a ton of action, look no further than the intro for Extreme Dinosaurs. We used to be four ordinary teenagers. Until one day, we met some new friends. Okay, so what do you get when you mix some classic 80s rock with some dinosaurs from outer space? Well, if you're asking me, you might get a headache from hell. Friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space. Well, one rocking intro from another. This is the show that's set up by this intro. It tells you a little more about what you're getting yourself into. And joined in their battles against Genghis Rex and the Now, if you've seen the show Captain Planet, I know what you might be thinking. This show seems a lot similar. Yeah, but hear me out. I know you got your four kids and they got a ring and their mission is to help save the world from pollution and destruction and all kind of crazy things like that. Damn, I guess it really is uh, very similar to Captain Planet. But, well, this show came out in 1987. Hey, let's just go see when Captain Planet was released. Oh, a whole three years later. So, what do you know? Genghis Rex and the Evil Tyrannos. The dinosaurs are leaving. Well, follow them. Man, this Balsasaur dude, man, he meant business. He wasn't taking any shit from any of these other dinosaurs. Another thing I really loved about the intro is how much passion the singer is putting into this. Like, wow, man. They were called. Sing it for me, baby. Come on now. Somebody give this guy an Emmy. But all in all, The Dinosaurs was a cool show. In 1988, we were given the movie The Land Before Time. So one year later, ironically enough, a show was made titled Dink the Little Dinosaur. Created by Ruby Spears Company. No, not related to Britney Spears Company. Hit me, baby, one more time. I can't believe people gotta be stealing from Don Bluth films. You better believe it. <laughs> Oh no, we're a ripoff in the land before time! If times weren't rough enough, well, do you think that the show is similar to Land Before Time? Maybe trying to cash in on its success? Maybe trying to get in the spotlight of fame? Eh, I'll let you be the judge. Some heroes are made, others are defrosted. This is their story. I'm gonna tell you a story and it's vaguely true about butt kicking dinosaurs who know Kung Fu! No! No, I got nothing to say about this show, especially this god-awful intro. It's just terrible, it's an abomination of garbage, and we're moving on. I said we're moving on. Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs. When I see a show about bucket, I just gotta think, well, fuck it. Don't tell Harry. Let's just watch it and see what we learn about it. All right, let's check this out. Hey everyone, do you know the Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs song? No, I do not. It's my favorite. This guy sounds just like those gem cutters from the Spyro games. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. There's going to be a lot of broken buckets increased in America. The inflation of buckets is going to be on the rise. Wait and see. When was this show made? Okay, the year 2005 and it's still going. Wow, after 13 years. Damn, Harry. This show never going to end. Come Let's sing. So this is one hell of an idea. You got a little kid who travels to a mystical land by entering an ordinary object 
to meet lots of strange and bizarre characters. Doesn't that sound like fun? Okay, sure, maybe it's been done before. So you got your song singing about all the dinosaurs, and I can swear, even anyone sober, without these captions, you wouldn't be able to keep up with this freaking song, going off with it singing about different types of dinosaurs. The is tearing out the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Harry in his bucket full of dinosaurs is a tongue twister from hell, and if you ain't got very good perception on what you're reading, you're gonna have a bad time. Eh, it's pretty catchy, hey, but it does sound pretty similar to that PB and J Otter intro, though. Hey, who's gonna notice? So yeah, that was uh, talking about some dinosaur related intros. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, you know, eh, feel free to donate to my Patreon. Cause yeah, it helps me pay the rent, and it makes me really happy. So until next time, take care and stay awesome. Peace out everybody. Whatever, whatever.